Hey, welcome back. Okay, in this lesson, we are going to talk about launches. So, what's a launch? There's a module in the course at large that talks about launching your offers, but here I'm just gonna give you an action step on how to actually do that. So, for right now, your offer is a free webinar, but based upon the launch calendar that I've given you below, you also want to four times a year, and it depends on your goals, but just at the very least, four times a year, you are going to launch your seasonal programs. So you have a winter program, a spring program, a summer program, and a fall program at very deliberate times. And you'll see that on the document below. And basically it's just after the new year when people are rebooting their systems and their lives. The spring program is in between, but really, at least in my community, and you should think about it for your own community, it's when things are getting tough for kids in the second semester of school and approaching end of year exams. And a lot of kids start to fall apart and a lot of families suffer. So when you have a spring program that is beginning at that point, you can meet that need in a very timely manner. Summer program, it's an awesome time for families to do neurofeedback because their schedules change and it's easier. Your fall program starts after school starts. That's very important. I've started it before school, and let me tell you what happens, especially with kids with learning challenges, when they go back to school, things get rough for a few weeks, and you do not want that to coordinate with the beginning of your neurofeedback care. I did it once, it was a nightmare, and my goal in this course is to save you from the things that I've learned. What happened was kids it was rough for them at school and parents came in and they're like, this neurofeedback thing isn't working. And we had just started the program and the kids suffer like that every year when they go back to school, but the parents were hoping that with neurofeedback, that would not be the case. So our fall program begins the week after school begins. But I will tell you, we also offer a back to school program that piggybacks on the fall program. So people who are eager to get started before school starts, I warn them that this is probably still not going to take the edge off of the back to school challenge with their child, but it will help them through it and parents like that. So we actually have four main programs with that um, auxiliary one that we run about a week and a half, two weeks before school starts. And that's our back to school program. And really what these programs do is give you something to launch into your community. You're always able to take new patients if you have availability. So it really doesn't change anything in your office. It just gives you something to market, which is very important because if you have nothing beginning, then you don't have anything to tell people in a timely manner. And if you remember, urgency is one of our triggers as is having limited capacity. And these seasonal programs provide that for you. So follow the launch calendar below. So what it looks like is your summer program begins the week after school ends. And then what happens is a month before that is when you're advertising in print and you should at least do four print publications if you can afford it in a publication that is really strong within your community. So I live in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. There's a Chapel Hill magazine. It's basically all advertisements, but people love it and they look through it because it also talks about the community. So we actually advertise in it monthly, but back in the day, we advertised just our four quarterly programs and you usually get a discount for at least having four ads. So the cost per ad would be lower too. So you want to advertise that a month before your summer program begins so that you can get people in and map them. I do not put a discount in those advertisements because getting $80 off of something you have no idea what it is can be challenging for people. Sometimes I'll put it, but most times I don't. But when people contact us, then I tell them it's a great time for them to come in for their map because it's $80 off. So again, if you remember, the ad is to have people learn about your organization and your services. Then when they call, you're using another trigger of giving them a price reduction, making them want that map. And then if you follow the plan like we have in programs and pricing, 
you will also then be able to use triggers throughout that process. Okay, so I hope that is helpful for you in terms of how you actually launch. So go out there, launch your next seasonal program, get it into a print publication, and get ready for some qualified patients, prospective patients to call your office. And then use your neurofeedback express lane for office systems to use those triggers to help them convert. Go do it so you can become the neurofeedback expert that you deserve to be.